And now it's time to have a look at your work in the gallery, and very good it is too. This painting caught my eye because Susanna has used some brilliant colours here, which isn't always easy. This really is a very vibrant sunset. The combination of neat cut-out paper and spray paint works really well here. I've decided those black triangles could well be bats, maybe bats flying around a church. A still life drawing, all done in crayon. Now, usually clothes are always very difficult to draw. People put too much into the drawing and lots of smudge. But this one's come off very well. A splendid hungry snail. Robert, what I really want to know is, did you make a coil of string and press it into the damp papier-mâché to make that? Lovely, wasn't it? And so were they all, and we do enjoy looking at them. Now, here's our address. Heartbeat, BBC TV, London, W36XZ. What a wonderful collection of birds. Now, as Tony was trying to tell us earlier, man's always wanted to fly, and one of the ways he's achieved this is in an aeroplane, and that's exactly what I'm going to make today, an aeroplane that I can fly across the studio. And to start with, you need to find a tube. Now, you can either make one, or if you've got one the right size, you can use that. I had to go at making one here. And, of course, with all airlines, they have very jazzy colour schemes, and my colour scheme is blue on the top, a nice bright pink stripe, and then grey on the bottom. And the first thing you want to do is cut the nose shape. So what you want to do is take two snips at either side. You've got to go in here like that. Go in as far in as you want, depending on how long you want the nose to be. One on the other side. There we go. Now you just want to cut the front piece away and then make a nice curve shape here. Round you go. Snip that away, like that, the way that goes. And then round again. And just snip that away. And then once you've done that bit, you turn it round and make a much simpler cut, just to a point at the back. That's one. And one more. There's the other one. Let's just pull that away. There it goes. Move all those bits out of the way. And then you want to join these two bits together. I've got a bit of tape stuck here so that it will hold the front piece together like that. There we are. And as you can see, that bows out a bit. You need to hold that together. And I've got the perfect thing for that. A nose shape like this. Cut into the front of the plane and then a little curve there for the window. And then to attach it, you just stick it on one side like that. Make sure that's nice and secure there. It comes unstuck very easily. And then underneath it goes, and then you want to stick it onto the other side. Oh, yes, that's just right. Now, that looks like the front of a plane. And once you've done that bit, the next bit you want to do are the wings. Now, over here, I've got the wings. They're made out of corrugated card because it needs to be a very light card so the plane isn't too heavy. And then I've covered it in the same blue paper. Now, that's the main wing. And, of course, you've got your tail plane, which is exactly the same shape, but just a little bit smaller. 
and then at the back of the plane as well, you've got the tail bit that stands up, and those two slot together like this. Two cuts on each one, and they should just, are they going to go in? Yes. There it goes. Slots together very nicely. And to attach those, at the back here, you want to make a couple of cuts, three cuts, one here, like that, one at the top, like that, and then just one at the side. And then hopefully that will take your tail plane. Let's just see if those go in. Oh, yes. Is that going to go in? Yes. Well, it's going in, but these are flapping up a little bit, aren't they? So I think a bit of tape at the back just to hold it in position. Just a little bit there. There we are. That holds it nicely. And the last thing you want to do is your wing that goes across the centre, and that's your main central wing. I've got two slits, and if I just turn it round the other way, you'll see the other slit. Make sure they're in exactly the same position on each side. And then all I have to do now is just feed that wing through. There it goes. Going in. Gently ease that in. Oh, yes, perfect. There we are. And there's my plane. And over here, I've got an identical plane ready to fly. Just got to go up these ladders. And up here, I've set a nylon line up, and I've strung it right the way through the plane. And I've got a paper clip holding it in position. And let's see how it flies. There it goes. Oh, wow! There you are, my plane flies. And don't forget to take the nylon line down when you finish playing. <laughs>